Hi there, it's John from Giviki. Giviki's mission is to empower people like you who are doing amazing work for social impact. In this video, I will walk you through the donation experience so that you can empathize with the online giving experience that donors have on your site. Online giving is becoming more and more important. The Giviki team has made online giving much easier, faster, and with great design. This video will seek to answer three questions. The first, how do I make a donation? The second, what payments are accepted? And third, how do I know if my donation went through? So let's dive right into it. There are two ways in which donors can give on your Giviki site. First, on the homepage, and second, on your campaign pages. I'll begin by showing how donors can give on the homepage first. On your Giviki homepage, there are two options for donors to choose from, monthly giving and one-time giving. Donors simply need to click on donate and they will proceed to the next step, which is to provide confirmation of the donation amount and the donor details. An email is required for sending an email receipt. If the donation is tax deductible, donors will be asked to fill in the several details as well that are country specific. The final step is to fill in payment details. After filling in the payment details, they click donate. Now I will show you how you can make a donation on a campaign page. Donors can start donating as soon as your campaign page is ready and published. After directing your donors to the campaign URL, donors can choose from the following three buttons on the right hand side of the campaign page. Please donate. Donors can click on this and choose a preset amount or a customized amount. Then the donor will fill in their donor details, tax deduction details, and credit card details. The one share equals one donation button allows your supporters to share the campaign on social media. For more information on this button, please watch the demo video on how to share on social media. The share button is titled one share equals one donation because data shows that one share statistically leads to one donation. We highly recommend encouraging your best fans, volunteers, and supporters to share campaigns even if they cannot give. The remind me later button allows donors to come back at a later time to donate to a campaign. Once donors provide an email address, our staff will send a friendly reminder to make sure they don't miss out on giving towards a meaningful campaign. So what kind of payments can Giviki accept? Giviki can accept two types of payments, credit debit card and bank transfers. Giviki can accept payments from any Visa, MasterCard, or American Express credit or debit card. To activate bank transfers, please contact your account manager or send an email to support at give.asia. Giviki campaigns cannot accept payments by check, phone, or other payment processors, such as PayPal. If a donor gives you cash or check outside of Giviki, you can add it as an offline donation. In order to add offline donations, go to the charity dashboard by clicking on manage charity at the top right of your Giviki homepage. Under the fundraising tab, go to campaigns. And for the campaign that you would like to add the offline donation for, click Edit Amount under Raised and simply add the offline donation amount. So how will you know when people donate? Successful donations will immediately appear on your campaign. You will also receive an email notifying you that you received a donation and the donors will also get an email receipt with confirming their payment. This tracking key is extremely important. Later, if a donor would like a refund, please ask them for their tracking key. That's all for now. Again, my name is John Kim, and I'll be your Giviki companion. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line at support at give.asia. 